I'm under the belief that Bitcoin is putting itself in position to see a move back up to forty-two dollars to $43,000, possibly within the next few months, and I'm going to show you exactly why. So before we talk about what needs to happen in order for us to get that breakout to forty-two dollars to $43,000, let me show you exactly why I'm under the belief that Bitcoin can make this move in general. So what we can see here is, of course, that Bitcoin has been putting in macro bounces off of this trend line ever since 2013 and 2014. Of course, you can see that we had the low here. We had our 2015 bear market low here. We had our 2020 bear market low here and what I believe to be the 2023 bear market low right here in which we did actually fall below the line. Of course, everyone was saying this time is different. Well, maybe this time is so different because we actually lost this ascending level of support rather than just bouncing off of it like we did historically. Now, as you can see here, as we were putting in those macro lows around this trend line, we were also forming a beautiful inverse head and shoulder structure, which historically says that some type of more macro move to the upside side could be on the way. As you can see here, the moment that we did start to capitulate back here in May of 2022 during the Luna crash did highlight when we started to create the left shoulder. Then obviously that FTX crash mixed in with all the craziness of last year, put in the head to the downside. And then of course, this micro pullback to the downside did confirm the right shoulder as it did run right back towards that key level of liquidity created by the left shoulder. So in situations like this, whenever you have, of course, a left shoulder, a head and a right shoulder, it creates what is known as an inverse head and shoulders which has a strong chance of making a move towards the upside especially when it is at the bottom of a more macro move to the downside so when you combine the fact that we are not only on a massive macro level of support that has historically held the price up during bear markets but we are also forming a gigantic bullish pattern at that key level of support it tells me that we are in a fantastic position to possibly see some type of continued move towards the top side and of course we do need to pay very close attention to it well i know what you're gonna say well shouldn't we ape in right now shouldn't we buy in? Nah, not just yet, at least in my opinion. I still do believe that although there is the breakout target towards the upside, and although we are setting up for a move towards that direction, it may not happen just yet. And matter of fact, we may need to see some type of larger correction or pullback before that move is readily available. The reason being is because we are still sitting below this massive zone of bearish liquidity between $29,000 and $32,000. As you can see, historically, this is the level that held us up during our bull market of 2021 and is also rejected us to the downside throughout our bear market of 2022. And so as you are in such a strong level of rejection, we have to be aware that rejection is still very likely. Now, not only that, though, of course, we have talked about our chart prime quadfecta that has recently played out in which we did get the overbought reading, the red reversal triangle, the blue peak finder and the bearish divergence. All of these things say that a macro pullback is very likely on the way. And if you simply just look at the overall structure of this thing, what we can do is we can pull structurally from this breakout till the upside in which we put in this all-time high and apply it to what we're seeing right now and you can see the very very strong similarities in which although it is not perfect because of course crypto does never you know it never repeats exactly you can see these movements to the upside whether it be these moments of cool down these moments of pumps these moments of pullbacks the pumps the pullbacks the pumps the pullbacks the pumps it's all the same right and they're all extremely similar and so in positions like this in which we are seeing the chart prime quad factor playing out in a very similar chart structure to what we saw before we saw a strong correction to the downside, we have to be aware that Bitcoin itself may not be ready to see that massive move and we may need to pull back one more time or maybe we need to reestablish some support on the support line here before looking to make this continuation to the top side. You can also see if we do turn on our smart money concepts bundle, this is also a very, very strong predictive range. What we know is that this chart prime indicator has a strong history of being able to predict where these ranges are gonna be. And if we just clear everything off for a quick second here, you can see here that that $32,000 range sits right at this upper threshold. And historically, when we clear that yellow line, we are in position to make some type of continued move to the upside, likely to retest purple line. And in this example, you can see the purple line is sitting directly under $42,000. That says, hey, this gives us another reason as to why the price may be getting ready to break that level, especially once we're capable of breaking this $32,000 level. Lastly, what we can go ahead and do is I'm going to turn on our market oracle and we're going to zoom out to our weekly chart. And you can see that this weekly chart prime market oracle is also sitting directly in this $32,000 ish range. And if we're capable of breaking it, that then puts us in a position that we've not been in ever since 2019 when we broke it leading into the bull market that, of course, led to Bitcoin seeing new all time highs. 
all of these things together say that we need to get above $32,000. And once we're capable of doing it, the door to forty-two dollars to $43,000 is then wide open for us to take advantage of. So what I'm going to go ahead and say is that since we are still at risk, and since there is still the possibility that we will see some type of correction to the downside, especially based in the short term, right? Considering all of those negative things we can see, all of the quad factor playing out, all of the overbought indicators, the red reversal triangles, everything here on our chart prime oscillator, I'm going to go ahead and say that I'm still waiting a little bit. What I want to see is for Bitcoin to be able to break back above $32,000 and hold that key level of support. I'm not talking about wicking above it on a daily close. I'm talking about multiple one or maybe even two weekly closes above that $32,000 level. And once that's capable of happening, I do believe we are in position to see $41.6 to $43,000. Now, the reason that I was able to capture this level and why I believe that is the level that we would reach is mostly based off of this inverse head and shoulders. What you can do is take the distance from your neckline all the way down to the bottom of the head and then apply that to the top of the neckline. That gives you your breakout target. And in this example, that gives us a breakout target of $41,000. Now, not only is that our inverse head and shoulders breakout zone but that also gives us a retracement back up towards this key golden pocket of retracement for our macro all-time high to bear market low, which is currently sitting between $39,000 and $50,000. We are going to retrace up to this level at some given point. It is what always happens within crypto. And so I'm under the belief that we may have the perfect setup right here to actually get that retracement back up to the upside once we're capable of clearing, again, that $32,000 level. So as you can see here, I'm under the belief that forty-one dollars to $43,000 is on the way. It's just a game of how does it happen and when does it happen. And I know that it is much more much, much more sure to happen once we're holding some base above $32,000. So of course, as this does continue to play out, I'm going to continue to update you using my chart prime indicators and oscillators. I'm under the belief that they give me every single thing that I need to make the correct predictions, or at least have the correct ranges to know when these moves are extremely likely. So make sure if you do want to access them yourself, things such as a chart prime oscillator, again, that beautiful smart money concepts bundle, your market Oracle, all of those very important things, make sure you do use the link in the description. You'll get 30% off all of their products of course as they are a sponsor of the channel but with that said i am going to continue to update you with that and i hope that you do enjoy remember i'm posting youtube shorts every single day going over solana technical analysis ethereum polygon ada cardano and all of those altcoins so make sure you stay up to date with that and of course i will see you all very soon in the next video peace out